What's up guys, Rebelsmon11 here, and this is going to be a commentary kind of thing, not over the gameplay, but over the weekend I had to officially kick off my summer break. So me and my friends, I'm going to leave out one part because I don't want y'all to know about it, but uh, it was a weird weekend, you know, it wasn't one of those weekends, you're not, get, you're never going to, I'm never going to forget this weekend probably, but uh, but anyways, me and my friends, we were going down to this hunting lodge my parents have. And we were going to do the normal guy stuff, you know. But uh, here's a picture of my friends. Uh, I'm the one on the far right that shrugging the shoulders. But uh, anyways, we're going to go down there in hopes of having a good, great weekend. We're going to go hog hunting, maybe. Hide and seek in the dark. No gay erotica stuff. Uh, go hiking and all that fun stuff you do in the wild but uh, our first thing we're gonna do is go hiking uh, officially we didn't think it'd be if we thought we were just gonna go out there and take a peek you know we're going exploring pointing out random things like that subscribe bar uh, then uh, I I remember this uh, railroad me and my dad went to one time but we were on the four-wheeler which I forgot and we were yeah I thought it only took like 20 minutes to get out there, but we were on the four-wheeler at the time, so it actually took a hell of a long time. But, uh, so, you know, we were exploring. We had a good time before that. We found a snake skin, a cactus my friend cut open, it looked like a vagina, and we were, you know, having a great old time, you know. Found a noose to hang people, and most importantly, we found a ninja. He's a fucking ninja man. But, uh, anyways, back to the trail story. So we're hiking along the trail to get to the railroad. And we kind of forget how long it took. And we're out there for a few hours, you know. Taking breaks all of a sudden. And about four hours later, still hiking, we get pretty good day of tired. There's a sunset. We left at around four. Got back at around nine. So, yeah. You can kind of figure that one out yourselves. But, uh... Anyways, we, that was the first of the many things that happened. Uh, we went hiking, uh, forgot how far it was, so we decided to go back. We never made it to the railroad, because we went the next day on the four-wheeler, and it turns out it was barbed wire. We made it around 75% of the way the other day. We put a little marker there to figure out how far we got, and it turned out it was barbed wire, so there's no way you can get over there. So we're like, if we would have made it there walking and got to the barbed wire fence pretty sure they would have killed me my friends would have but uh yeah so that was the first of the many bad things the second thing was uh well i think that was the only bad thing on that day yeah so then later that night we're playing hide and go seek you know having a good old time but uh uh after that we're headed off to bed it's around 5 a.m in the morning my we all had sleeping bags Except for one of my friends, and he wanted the blanket. So, but my other friend had the blanket. He didn't want to give it up. So he ran inside a room, held the door closed, and my friend tried to break in the room and ended up breaking the door handle, uh, causing the door not to open. My friends didn't know this until after they closed the door with all his stuff inside of it. So there's no way to get into the room without breaking the door. So. He ended up losing all his stuff that night because we couldn't get the door open without breaking the door, which we weren't going to do because that cost a lot of money. So the door handle broke. He lost all his stuff and cost lots of money to repair. And that was the second thing that went wrong on this glorious weekend. So number three. Uh, my friend, we got woke up by my mom at 6 a.m. in the morning after we went to bed at 5, which really sucked, and my friend still wanted to go out on the little mule thing, just kind of like a four-wheeler, not exactly, but they went on that. I took a sleepy time with me, which was probably a mistake now that I think about it, because they come back, and the mule it has a windshield on it, and it's cracked which is not good and they say they flipped over because a deer ran in front of them and you know that was another bad thing 
you know, whenever a deer running in front of you and you flip over a car and it landed on my friend's foot too. But luckily he didn't get hurt. Uh, yeah. So that was a bad thing as well. Car, vehicle flipping over on someone and breaking part of the car. Luckily it still works, it's just the windshield needs to get repaired. Then, uh, I think that was pretty much the only thing that went, those were the only thing that went bad at the lodge. Uh, yeah. So then, the last bad thing that happened, we're driving home all sad and stuff, we didn't get to do, kill a hog or anything. We're one mile away from my, from the exit to get off to get to our houses and stuff. And all of a sudden, we hear this noise, and I look in the rear view mirror and I see rubber flying everywhere and I realize that this is not a good sign so I pull over onto the high off the highway and that was a nice tomahawk and uh, I pull off the highway and I get out of the car and I see the tire has blown out yes we think nothing could get worse it gets worse you know but uh so the tire blew out and we had no idea how to fix it because we couldn't find the jack. We know where the tire replacement was, but we didn't know how to get it out. And so eventually this cop drove by going on the other side and he turned around and helped us and, you know, uh, pictures there. And we ended up, it took us like two hours to figure it out and get it all put back together. It was a bitch, but, uh, so... Got my friends home. One was late to work, so that was bad. Um, then it cost me like $127 to replace that tire eventually. Uh, so yeah, that was a it's a pretty memorable weekend or a mem I don't know. Uh, but overall, I think it was a fantastic weekend. You know, we had lots of fun. We won't forget it. I think we'll be talking about this when school starts back up. You know, seniors. Uh, we had a great time playing hide and seek. We got to know each other even more. We played shuffleboard. Oh, shuffleboard was pretty sweet. Uh, we played video games, you know, normal guy stuff. Circle jerks. Wait, no, we did not do that. We were going to, but we decided not to because, you know, it's kind of gay. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? We had an M14 there, but we didn't, we didn't get to use it because we didn't see any hogs, but... Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, let's see, besides the breaking of the doorknob, the seven mile hike, the flipped over mule with the cracked windshield, the pop blew out tire, uh, I'm not gonna mention one other thing, so I'll maybe do that later in some other time. Uh,. Uh, yeah, but overall, I believe that was probably the funnest weekend ever. Besides the money that was lost and the, all that, uh, it was pretty great. And oh, my ping pong paddle came in yesterday. That's that added to the awesomeness of it. Uh, yeah, but anyways, wait, it's a great way to start off the summer break, I think. But uh, if y'all have any crazy stories or something, just you know, like it. Uh, if you play PS3, like the video, favorite the video. If you uh, ever had spent a weekend with your friends, be sure to favorite the video. Uh, if you ever used a shotgun in Call of Duty, be sure to like the video. If you ever played this map, be sure to like it. Uh, if you ever won a game of Domination, be sure to like the video also. Uh, if you ever captured a flag, be sure to favorite. Even if you if you lost a flag, also be sure to favorite it. Uh, if you ever got a kill with a C4, be sure to like the video. And uh, if you ever got killed with C4, be sure to like the video also. Uh, if you ever shot someone, be sure to like the video. Uh, if you ever got shot by someone, also be sure to favorite the video. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you like this commentary, be sure to like the video. If you didn't like it, be sure to like the video also. And peace out.